Hello everybody, this is Arathas and welcome back to Graveyard Keeper. Now before we get started on Graveyard Keeper, I wanted to make a quick announcement in case you guys are wondering what's going on with my RimWorld 40k Season 3 playthrough. It is going to be on hold for a couple of days simply because RimWorld updated to uh, version 19 or beta 19, whatever the hell you want to call it. And half my mods updated, half haven't, and apparently, usually that's not a huge problem, but the mods that haven't updated are fully crashing the game to the point where the game is actually forcing me to disable all the mods, and I can't attempt to play with, you know, I can't attempt, I can't even load the game with the mods that I have, uh, that have updated, because it's pretty much all the 40k mods, and a bunch of our other tech mods that are um, basically crashing the game and haven't updated yet. Now the good news is we're not losing our save file. By all accounts the update from beta 18 to beta 19 says that the save games are fully compatible. There's just going to be a, some visual differences and there's going to be new tech uh, that the base RimWorld game has added. So. Basically, we're just waiting on the updates to hit all the other mods, and then we can dive right back into our game and pick up right where we left off without losing any progress. I also thought about doing a RimWorld, like starting a new RimWorld series on the new version until the mods updated, but the new series I wanted to do, which was a low-tech medieval thing where the mods with magic and medieval stuff and where the mods actually rip out everything uh, everything modern like the electricity and the guns and shit uh, half those mods that I would need for that are also still in beta 18 and the other half have been updated so either way we gotta wait a little while for mods and that's all the announcements I need to make about that so let's get back into the game well let's move on with Graveyard Keeper I should say alright so from what I was told, I should really get my ass on building a chest over here, a trunk, because I can start storing all my food shit over here, and it'll work like my raw materials up here. If I put a chest here, whenever I want to plant something, whenever I want to add anything to any of these fields, it'll take directly from this trunk. So let's get on that. I need four nails and four flitches. All right, that's actually really easy to get. Let's go do it. Not there. Do we get flitches over here? I do. Kind of wish I had some more wood and I can go get it. Oh, I was also told from here on out if I'm gonna cut trees down, I need to leave uh, the trunks and the root system. Otherwise the trees will not grow back, which is kind of disappointing to hear because of how many trees I have already clear cut. So thankfully I haven't clear cut much in the way up here. I saw your ass. Go ahead, you guys can hit me, it's fine. Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna leave these trees, like I'll cut them down and then leave them to regrow. Same with the big ones. So we're really not out a whole lot of material, a whole lot of trees. All right, so we have the flitches. I'm sorry, just wanted to get that out the way. And we are going to get nails now. Because, yeah, I would very much like to get a trunk built down here and then just start keeping the peat and the all the other shit that we plant over here. Oh, shit. That is awesome. I'll be able to fit three chests up here. Fuck yeah, I want to do that. Can I build more than one? Well, obviously I can. So I'm going to start, I'm going to probably build one of these for just seeds, one of these for just compost, and all that. So, let's throw the seeds in here. Okay, I need to go get more trees uh, so I can build more, uh, what are the fucking things called again? Just talking about them. Uh, more flitches. Cool, cool. Leave that, tr leave the trunk there. 
come do this. And come up here. And we're gonna go ahead and knock out some more nails. God, where, where the hell are you going? Hit the wrong damn button is what I did. And now flitches right here. Kind of a shitty material to work with, but you know what? It don't matter. Now I know I need more metal parts like hinges and shit, and I don't know. Yeah, I can build one more of these. I have all the materials to build two more chests except for those simple parts. And we'll get to that. In fact, our dude's gonna have to go to sleep soon. But yeah, I was given a lot of awesome tips in the comments. I do thank you guys so very much for those. Like, for example, telling me that that cabin in the woods I can actually build up and then teleport from that cabin between that cabin and my house. You know, that cabin we found way up in the northwest? Yeah. Um, so I can use that for stone, metal, all that shit. And I can even build like raw material like I can even build like some crafting stations up there so I'll probably leave all the lumber shit down here but I'll probably move my metal working and all that stuff up there now can I build other trunks in here does not look like it and that's fine okay just wanted to check but I can build a chest um, down here I'm gonna build all three of them and then I was also told I can build a chest down in the not the graveyard but in the cremation area which would also be fucking handy yeah I love the idea of having all these chests we're gonna do this right now I want everything up and running All right, let's go collect resources. Like all the food and all that shit. And drop some stuff off. I uh, know, I wanted to keep that, actually. You know, for now, let's trade off. You know, I'll take the maggots. I don't know why I want them. Um, well, apparently I can eat them. All right, I'd rather not, but hey. Let's drop this shit off. Drop this shit off. Drop that and pick up all the seeds. Yeah, I really want just a seed chest, a completed product chest, and a peat chest for now. So, fully grown items like that we've harvested, shit so we can harvest more, that kind of stuff. Well, I guess no, never mind. The, fo the, the finished food needs to go in the house so I can actually cook it, but like all this other crap. Hmm. Oh, that's the other item we can keep down there. My god, I, I was sitting here trying to figure out exactly how I was going to organize shit in those three chests, but no, I came to the conclusion. We're going to have peat in one. We are going to have, uh, what's it called? Um, seeds in another. And we are, I should probably grab the carrots because that little fucker is going to want some carrots. Alright, we'll get down to him in a minute. Because I don't think the body starts decomposing till he drops it off. But yeah, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put... Uh, let's see. Seeds in here. The next one over is going to have... What's it? The crop waste. Because if I throw the crop waste in there... Like, I usually produce more crop waste than my stuff over here can handle. So one's going to be for crop waste. And one is going to be for peat. Now, let's go throw the... I really wish I could clear this shit so I could just walk straight down the bottom. But, don't have that option at the moment. I don't know if I'll ever have that option, so yeah. Hey, dude. Give me a minute. Have your carrots. I was also told I can fix this. I didn't realize it was something I could fix. So I just need stone and simple iron parts out here. Because, yeah, apparently if I put that out here and then there's another hatch over here, uh, it'll just drop the body down here where it'll decompose more quickly. Uh, sorry, more slowly. Jesus Christ. You know what? I'm just going to cremate this corpse. For now, that's all I'm going to do. Good God. What do I need again? Ah, 
billets. And yeah, the trunks are... In... Yeah, I should build a couple trunks down here to store billets, if nothing else. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I should have left that in the... I should have left that in the morgue, and I probably will come back and fix that. But for now, I think I'm going to cremate this corpse, and we'll go from there. This feels like it might be wasting a lot of billets, though. Because I need, what, eight of the fuckers? I think that's exactly how many we need, and that's a problem. Because, yeah, I don't have a lot of... I don't have a lot of that shit. So, yeah, I'm going to start leaving those behind. Come over here. Let's create some more billets. Excellent. Yeah, I think I'm going to start stockpiling billets down here. I mean, I know I don't have to cremate them, and I'll probably work on keeping the corpses in better shape. Like, I'll probably... I will try to bury all this eventually, but for now, we'll just do this. Oh, I have to build it still. Yeah, for some reason I didn't think that was not that was necessary. Light it up. All right. So yeah, what did I need for this again? Two pieces of stone, four simple iron parts. Gotcha. I can do that. Hey, priest. Oh, shit. Today is Sermon Day. Alright, let's get some sleep. And we'll pick up the shit that we need. Because I know that's one of my duties. Because I got to do the sermon. I mean, I guess I don't absolutely have to. I don't think they're going to fucking fire me. But, you know, you still want to. If nothing else, it gives me, like, cash. Go pick down the stuff from the cremation. I think I have a number of burial certificates I can get rid of. Now, I also found out, thanks to all you guys pointing it out, the chests in the basement. Like, no, sorry, not the chest in the basement. Uh, the here, let's go just go look. Down here. I was concerned, like remember I was trying to figure out how to make the study table. Luckily, we already have one. I was confused because we have a study table and church workbench. I kind of thought we already had the church workbench in place. So yeah, I'm going to start using this, but for now, let's do the sermon. Then we'll start trying to improve the church. God damn, this area needs to be better lit. I'd like to say some words. Great. Woohoo. Nice. Let's pray for the blessing. We done? Nice. Thank you. Now get the fuck up out of my church. I have, stu I have stuff to do. Yeah, I know I'm going to have to start paying taxes here pretty soon, too. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Get the hell up out of here. Let's start making the simple parts, though, and getting the stone that we need to rip this open. Still want to get some orchard trees up, but I don't know... Like, I can get peat, but I don't know where to get the tree apple seedlings. There's probably an orchard guy I can go talk to and buy the initial seedlings, right? Ah, uh, yes, let's throw you guys back out here. And I know I can use the faith to do stuff around town. Not super concerned about it right now, though. All right, we need the iron parts. I'm going to do... We always need iron parts. I'm just going to make 12 of them. It's not like I can't use the experience I'm getting for other shit. All right, done. Let's grab some stone. God damn it, you bastard. I don't need you right now. Uh, da, 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 da. Came over here. Ah, that's what I came for was the piece of stone. 
I would imagine it's the same to open up the inside part of the chute as well. Craft. Alright, I'm not going to be able to fix the other one, the other side of it quite yet. And I'm going to fix this when I get a chance. What does it require? Flitch. And my dude's going to get really fucking tired. This corpse... Ah, that's what I heard. It's true. Excellent. Uh, once the corpse is on the slab, you don't have to worry about it um, decomposing. Like, it'll just sit there. Alright, let's get some sleep. We're gonna get some flitches, because I would like to double up on the morgue itself. I want to get the other... I want to get the other item done in there, the other end of the chute, and then I want to build the table that they keep saying I can build in there. What you got? We got flitches. Excellent, I don't have to craft anything right now. Let's go do this. All right. Boom. That foul-tempered donkey shouldn't give me any shit now. What can I build? I can build another I can build a preparation place and another pallet. This is the preparation place to it. It's the same thing as this, right? And this is just I lay corpses on it. Hmm. It would be nice to have a couple of those set up. Yeah, I still can't make a wooden beam. However, yeah, the dude's not going to drop off another animal. Animal, my god. The donkey's not going to drop another corpse off. Fucking hell. Alright, let's start planting some shit. Cool, carrots. Carrots. Oh, shit, that's what I should be doing as well. Oh, no? Can I not drop shit directly from here? Like, I have to actually be carrying it? What the hell? Yeah, no, yeah, it looks like I definitely... Yeah, that wasn't working in the chest. The seed was. That's a damn shame, I'd have to say. Wonder if I throw it over here, if that's the issue. Oh. See how far I can scroll down. There we go. The other trunks are available. So that's my fault. I didn't scroll down to look at all the trunks. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, you just go the fuck back over there. I'm gonna go put some fertilizer down on every field. Then I'm gonna go probably use my money. Because apparently one of the things I can do by putting the peat down is I can get higher yields, and I can also get potentially more seeds. So I think I'm going to go talk to some dudes uh, while the sun is up and everything. Because I can work in the middle of the night. It's not a big deal. I think I'm going to go try to get some more seeds while the fertilizer's doing his shit. And we're gonna go try to buy some more seeds, and I'm gonna see if I can get some tree sap, like some tree seeds or whatever the hell. Saplings. Let's go. Walk on over. Uh, the reason I'm not teleporting is I don't know if it's one of these two fields out here on the edges of the map. And also, I need to stop and talk to the uh, guy just south of here who sells the seeds and the completed crops. Shit, do I have all my... Okay, I have a few burial certificates. Cool, I was worried that I had forgotten to bring those along. Hey, you. Yeah, I would love some of these. Do you have... 
I think he might. What the fuck do I get you to like me? I would like four. You know what? We're going to take like eight of these. I don't need carrot seeds. Let's get like eight of these. And eight of these. Oh, that's all you got. Okay. Fair enough. No, I don't want to cancel the offer. I want to buy it. I'm sorry, what? Oh, I don't have the inventory space. God damn it. Wheat, cabbage, and beets. Let's leave the wheat behind then. Should have left the carrots behind. Well, regardless, I'm going to the tavern to do other shit. But I'm going to come up here. There's somebody up here. Oh, it's the mill. It's the miller. Shit, that doesn't help me. Alright, well, let's go sell some shit. Go home and plant some new fields. Well, I don't know if I plant them yet. I think, I think the fertilizer needs some time to grow. Take root, whatever. Go on in. Don't care about you, lady. You kind of a bitch. <laughs> hey. Thank you. What's this now? Package of meat. Yeah, I don't want that. <laughs> I know what goes into that meat. Yeah, all these people have their own little fields, but I'm not... I haven't had any luck finding, like, in somebody who sells actual, like, saplings and shit. I'm wondering if it's the same dude who I buy my seeds from. Let's look at our map. Wheat farm. There's a woodcutting space up here. Hmm. Oh, that's also the, the dairy farms up here. Don't need that, though. At least not right now. Yeah, that's her. Hey, dude. Oh, you can sell me peat and crop waste. Don't care. Who are you? Hi, I'm Tress. I'm the graveyard keeper. If you need some wooden materials, I'll be happy to help you. For stone materials, you can visit my brother, Corey. Yeah, they're definitely bud brothers. Like, I... Can I use, like, this? Like, I'd love to be able to just use that. Oh, damn. Hey, dude. Hey, don't even think about chop chopping trees here. No, I'm just exploring. Good. I've paid a lot to the village for the right to chop the, chop the trees around here. And I gotta tell you, it's a hard work. If only I had a better axe. What if I brought you one? I haven't made much money yet. I don't even have a house. But I can teach you my old family recipe. It's a nice pasta. It'll help you keep up your stamina while you're... I could live with some pasta. That sounds damn nice. Anyway, let's teleport back to our house. I need to drop some shit off anyway. I'm carrying so much crap I don't need to. Let's drop that off. Let's drop this off. I have my flitches, which I don't need. I have the billet, which I don't need. Let's drop that shit out here. Like, I know I can use them later. I just don't need them right this second. Alright, drop this off. Let's go drop some seeds off. But yeah, with the fertilizer thing, I'm not entirely sure, because it says I can plant again. Uh, do I just need to wait? And then just do this, or is it legitimately, like, I can just plant immediately? These are things I need to figure out. Alright, we're going to go down to the study table in the church basement for now. And from what I understand, I should probably take some body parts. And like a creepy ass some bitch, we are keeping body parts in the um yeah, in at the foot of our bed. Not not cool, but hey, it works. I really need to get up so I can build a saw, a uh, circular saw. 
uh, once I have that, I can start making beams, and once I can make beams, I can start opening like areas like this up, so I have a much easier path. All right, so we're just gonna go over here. What's up? Pick an item to study. A brain. Oh, I need to give it science and faith. Okay. I have the faith. I don't don't have science at the moment. That's what the I believe that's what the other table requires if I remember correctly. That's what this provides me with. So I can make complex so I need four complex iron parts, nine flitches. Okay, we got some shit to do. Good god. It's like every time it's like, hey, you can do something now. Well, yes! Oh shit, no, I got a lot of... <laughs> it takes a lot of work. Also, it's the middle of the night. I don't really care about... We don't need the sleep right now. We have our teleport stone. I'm gonna go back up to that cabin in the woods and see what it takes, because apparently if I can sleep there, I can teleport there. And we saw how easy it was to just cross the bridge to get there. It's more of a direct route than going the other path. Don't need charcoal or nothing, we just come on up here. But yeah, this cabin, what's it take to turn it back on? Or fix it or whatever. Oh. I have to fix the that thing first. Oh. Oh, okay, it's already done. Okay, that works. So now I can teleport around. Nice. Okay, so we're going to want to build up here. We want to get this built up. So we're going to build a trunk iron ore stockpile an anvil stone yeah basically up here I can do all the stone shit I just can't do any wood cutting or yeah which is fine because holy shit we have a big ass um, stone thing right here iron deposit right here we have a stone deposit right here I believe that's marble and then just right over here we have coal so this would be perfect yeah, we need to get this shit up and running. Uh, let's see. I need to bring some flitches. So, 4, 8, 12, 20, 24, 28. And then a whole lot of nails to start with. Nails and simple iron parts. Okay, cool. We now know. Use, take me to sweet home. Okay, let's grab the flitches, some iron ingots, uh, yeah, I believe, oh, we don't need the stone, we just need uh, the simple iron parts, the flitches, and the simple iron parts, flitches, nails. I can make a lot of nails. I don't remember how many I need, but let's... Go ahead and do something like this. Let's get like a bunch of iron parts, simple iron parts, and then I'm gonna make a couple uh, iron ingots, like a couple iron ingots worth of nails. And then I'm gonna go collect some wood for flitches. And yeah, I still want to do that thing in the basement, but for now, I want to get our stone cutting, stone and iron cutting place up in the other side of the map going. Because yeah, I was bitching, if you guys remember, I was bitching earlier about, like, already I'm bitching about carrying these uh, logs down here, but even worse, it's like, oh my god, where am I going to get these giant stone slabs to bring up here? I mean, that's going to, uh, stone and iron slabs, it's way the hell over there. Well, the truth is, it's really not that far over there. Once you get that other cabin. So 
gonna grab a couple flitches. We're gonna spend the night here. And then we're gonna take it back up there. Yeah, I really wish I hadn't completely decimated some of these trees. Be nice to have them growing back. For no other reason than the extra resources. But I now know and, you know, it's my own fault. Because I did think about that when we first uh, when we first got here. I was honestly thinking about, hey, maybe I should leave the... Maybe I should leave the trunks in place. And then I'm like, eh, nah, that game won't take that into account. Yeah, no, it does. <laughs> okay. There we go. Get me some flitches. Because I don't think I need billets. I do think I need flitches, though. Quite a few of them, frankly. <coughs> Excuse me. And what I'll probably do is I'll probably start dividing up my tools and I'll just be leaving, you know, the rusty axe here. I need to improve my tools too. Rusty axe and shovel here. And just take the pickaxe and leave it up there. Anything to clear up my inventory space a little bit because it's fucking ridiculous right now. Okay, I think that's all we need. So let's take our ass back. Hey, hey. What? You don't let me teleport to the other one? The hell? I thought that's all I had to do. I should be able to teleport there and back. I wonder if I have to build some shit there first. Well, we're about to find out. I mean, all the materials I crafted aren't exactly you know, super um, hard to get back. I mean, I can restore them all very quickly. Yeah, it's really weird that this place didn't become a teleport option, because that's what I was told. And it seems logical, otherwise it's like, why the hell? I'm not going to come all the way up here and lug everything back manually. I mean, that would make this area more than mildly unnecessary. Yeah, it's almost like it's like can't can't I fix this up? The cabin itself? Maybe that's what it is. Okay, we need a trunk up here somewhere. Uh, let's put that right in front of the house. Set up the ore stockpile, like I think maybe down here is the best place for all the stockpiles. Ore stockpile there. Stone stockpile there, I guess. Uh, stone cutter. Yeah. I'll put in a stone cutter, and then later on we'll bring in a potter's wheel. Shit, don't have enough iron to get that, or enough stone to get the furnace. I should probably work on the furnace next while I'm up here. What does the furnace need? Yeah, I can't get any more flitches up here, so I'm just going to focus on getting stone. And this is just going to get me slabs of stone. So I do actually need the stone cutter, goddamn, okay. I actually have to build this stockpile, huh? Weird. The other one doesn't require it. Let's also build this. Nice thing about getting the furnace going is we have a coal deposit just right up there. Hmm. I don't, I don't know why they don't let me cut down the these trees. Oh well. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Let's get some sleep. Maybe I have to sleep until like all my stamina comes back. Maybe that was the problem.
Um, let's leave. Let's leave the nails. Let's leave the simple iron parts. Let's leave the one iron ingot. And what did I need to finish it off? I needed. I do need a few more nails, but I also need more iron bars if I want to make an anvil. But I do need to bring a bunch of stone up here. Well, I guess I could do the. Hmm. I guess I could do the stone cutter and stay up here a little bit longer. And that'll get me a lot of the other materials I need. So I can break down iron ore, and I can break down this shit. Excellent. Yeah, I think that's all this area is going to be for, is basically me to collect stone and iron. I just need an anvil and a furnace to do more. But yeah, well, I'm going to spend like a whole fucking day up here. Just seeing if maybe that's why I couldn't teleport, as I didn't spend enough time up here. I wonder if there's a part of the story, too, that's like, nah, man, you don't own this place yet, so you can't just fucking teleport yet. That wouldn't surprise me, actually. It's all going for the furnace. I mean, I'm almost obviously going to take some of this back to our main camp, because I can use it for cooking. I don't know that I want to get rid of that. No, actually. Oh, I didn't bring a shovel. God damn it. <laughs> I actually thought I'd brought the shovel back. Oh well. Uh, let's see. Let's grab some iron. Some iron slabs. Yeah, like I legitimately do not want to go back to the other place. I mean, it only takes us a second to run our asses up here, so it's not the end of the world if I can't teleport, but I kind of want to be able to. So, yeah. I think I have some more iron back at home, too, and since I have coal on me, I could go and make the extra nails and shit. And iron ingots, let's see. So I think I need, let's see, we want, obviously I want that. well, I don't know if we need a potter's wheel up here, I haven't seen any clay up here. So yeah, we need a bunch more stone, and flitches, and more iron ingots, so yeah, let's work on the stone. Because the furnace is going to be very, well, shit, never mind, <laughs> I guess we go home. But first, let me sleep at this cabin. Some dude's just gonna walk in here and be like, What the fuck are you doing in my house? And I'm gonna get shanked. Or murdered, you know, cabin in the woods, murdered, you know, that kind of shit. Sweet home, please. Furnace. Feed that. Oh, I can make a lot of iron ingots, especially if I use the coal. So we have 640. I'm going to do this. I know I probably fed way too much coal in there, but I'm also going to feed in those uh, scrap metal. And I'm going to take my whetstone. Can I use the whetstone from the chest that's just sitting over there? Oh, nice. Oh, I can access all the stockpiles. Anyway, where is... Where's my pick? There's my pickaxe. Let's fix this thing up. I am worried about having to buy another whetstone, because that shit's expensive. Hey, that grew back already. Hell yes. Now I'm going to chop it down. Because, hey, sorry, I need flitches.
I, yeah, do I need yeah, I need flitches. That should be enough. But I'm not going to head back up there until this is done. Cuz I need, you know, I need ore. Hey, look at this, carrots. More carrots. Alright, let's go ahead. I'm gonna try an experiment now. I'm gonna put in the all that shit. I'm gonna drop off my carrot seeds. Uh, I'm gonna use them. I'm just gonna. I just want them in here so they're easier to access. I'm gonna drop the waste in here. Now I'm just gonna plant in some of these places. Do that. Because you never know. That might be sufficient. Now, if it turns out that I was supposed to leave shit to grow for longer, well, learning experience, we just found that out. Okay. Boom. Okay. Yeah, this is much easier. Uh, let's see. I, com I need complex iron parts. And we need a lot more iron for that, so it's a good thing we're building that thing in the north. Because I need simple iron parts and, and and other ironing, yeah. So it's a good thing we're trying to build up that other place. For metal production. Looking around trying to see what else I can upgrade in the meantime. And yeah, I, I do know I need to go see the astronomer. Clay... remember there's actually anything down here to worry about. I mean, I really don't think there is. I also know there's a witch around here somewhere. I think she's probably right here. You know what? We ain't got nothing else to do. Let's go see if we can find the witch. I need to wait for that iron to get converted any damn way. Smelted. Refined. Whatever. I do not like this swamp, though. Yeah, I have to say, the swamp is aggravating to attempt to navigate. Like, you just get stuck on the silliest things. I don't really care about collecting more iron. But, god damn it. Oh, for the love of... See what I mean? <laughs> this is annoying as hell. Like, I know you need to go through the swamp, and I know actual swamps are a bitch to navigate, but come on. <laughs> there is a difference between trying to make it a little bit more realistic and then just trying and then just making it annoying this firmly fell into the annoying camp let's hug the northern edge of the swamp and see if there's a way down oh for fuck's sake Yep, nope, that's not gonna happen. So I gotta go navigate this shitty part of the swamp. <laughs> Yay! How oh, for. <laughs> Alright. Like, I know I've already navigated to Ace fair amount of the way into the swamp, but yeah, apparently there's a lot more to see in there. Alright, just keep on moving. Go this way. Try to find the bigger walkways, if they even really exist. <laughs> I 
I know we found a fishing spot in here. Where is this fishing? Okay, so we know where the fishing spot is. It's right here. So that's where we are. We need to get towards the center up here. What the hell? Hey, we got the hiccup grass for the dude. I'm not finding a way up. Just follow the maze around. I'll get some more hiccup grass. I really don't remember how much he needed. Okay, just follow this. So there is a wider trail to follow. But I swear to God, if it spits me out, like, without me finding a hut or whatever else is in here. Because, yeah, like I said, I think somebody told me there was, like, a witch or something out here. Yeah, okay. There's a hut. Don't you do this to me. Do I need to go around more? I'll be there in a minute, witch. Just give me a second. Man, if I needed to, if I wanted to teleport anywhere, this would be the place. What's this now? Build the bridge. Oh, fuck you. I came all the way out here and... Whew. Yeah, no. I'm, I am going to write that down before we leave because holy shit. Hey, lady. Go away, foul spirit. What? I'm not a spirit. I'm the keeper. Are you sure you're real? No, not really, but kind of. And who are you? That's a damn good question. Is it? I've been trying to figure that out for a couple weeks now, and I have a few theories. Do I look more like a witch or a fairy princess? What do you think? A witch. I suppose you're right. I'm too smart to be a princess. Anyway, I need your help. I remember nothing. I just woke up with this note in my hand. In case you lose your memory, just boil the cauldron with the incense and the bee. Drink the result. All ingredients should be in the cauldron already. Good luck from your past you. So do you try it? Do you see a cauldron lying around? No. Neither do I, so we have two options here. You can either make me the potion, shouldn't be too hard, or you can bring me a new cauldron and get the ingredients for me. Where the fuck can I find a cauldron? Oh, I'll need a big one. A good blacksmith might know how to make one. You help me and I'll help you. Okay. You've unlocked a new technology and got alchemy workbench, hand mixer, and alchemy mill. Thank you, lady. A bird friend told me that you have a garden. Is that true? Yeah, I plant a few crops. Would you consider helping an old woman? All I ever do around here is help everybody. Ah, fine. What the fuck do you want me to bring you? Pumpkin. A silver star pumpkin. In return, I'll teach you how to make pumpkin soup. Do you have any other quests for me or are we done? Okay, cool. Uh, teleport stone. Yep, still can't go up to that camp. I don't know why. Hmm. That sucks. Anyway, let's get down here. Pick up these ingots. Really wish I could add more to that. I think I should build a second furnace. Well, now that I think about it, I don't know that a second furnace would be all that fucking necessary. I'm gonna drop this shit off. And yes, I think this is a good place to stop, seeing as I am all out of time for today. So thank you everybody so very much for watching. Thank you for all the tips that you guys have given me to improve this place and streamline my work. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video at all, then please by all means feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or any combination of those actions that suits you today. And with that, I'll see you guys next time where hopefully we'll build the bridge across the swamp to the witch to make that trip a whole fuck ton easier. I might do that off camera, I don't know. And yeah, we'll work on figuring out what's going on with that cabin in the woods. Either way, should be interesting. Thanks again for watching, guys.